What's going on YouTube, Chamber Productions here, coming back at you with another video review, and in today's video I'll be taking a look at the Transformers Kingdom Voyager Class Inferno. Now, as always, we'll start by taking a quick look at the packaging. Packaging here is standard um, for the War for Cybertron Kingdom toy line, so we got a picture of Inferno in robot mode, in truck mode, all that good stuff. We got an Autobot insignia on the top, we got a picture of the... Uh, kingdom artwork there and then here on the side uh, again that picture of inferno here on the back it shows inferno in his robot mode his fire truck mode and that he converts in 17 steps and that's it for the packaging now as far as accessories go he doesn't come with a whole lot he does come with this little pistol here which is a carryover from the earthrise grapple figure so it's just done in a black plastic so he does come with a pistol he does come with a couple of these little, I'm assuming these are like fire hoses. Um, I'll talk about these more when we apply them to truck mode. But yeah, he comes with two of them. They're molded in gray plastic. They've got some pretty decent detail on them. Then he comes with a nozzle attachment. Da -da. There we go. He comes with a nozzle attachment for robot mode, which has been done in a nice, very nice silver, but not a whole lot to that. And then he does come with a little, like, um, little nozzle piece for the fire truck mode, and it carries over into robot mode, and it has some pretty decent detail to it. So, there you have that. He does come with a collector card, which is standard for the Kingdom toy line, and this time I got Dinobot. Again, I don't really care. I get Dinobots all the time, and I absolutely love this character, so it is not a problem for me, but peeling back the sticker here, we can see it is Dinobot. You can see there, it looks more like the Beast Wars toy design. Very nice artwork, but cool collector's card. I like it. I love Beast Wars Dinobot. One of my, I say one of my, he is my favorite character from Beast Wars. He does come with his instruction manual, which is standard Kingdom instructions. And then he does come with the warning sheets. The warning sheets. All right, you know how I feel about that. All right, let's carry on three. And... And moving right along, here we have Inferno. And Inferno looks really, really pretty good in fire truck mode. Now, with that being said, you can apply all of his accessories within fire truck mode. So I'm going to do that for y'all real quick. Um, the instructions show uh, that these little fire hoses go here on the side. And I'm assuming, I'm assuming that these are for like when there's a fire and the fire truck pulls up, these connect to the fire hydrant. That's what I'm assuming because if you look at the detail here, it looks like there's a little metal pipe connecting to the hose itself. So that's what I think it is. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below, but you, these just go on the side and then you can store the little nozzle for robot mode. There is a little slot right here and there is a peg right here, focus. And that will just have into place like so. And then this little nozzle piece, focus, focus camera, focus, come back to me. There we go. Uh, just a little port and there's a peg right here on the side of the ladder that tabs into place. And if you want to, there is a five millimeter port on the side here and there's a five millimeter peg on the side of the gun. You can store that there if you'd like. Uh, I'm not gonna store it there, but it is a weapon storage for that. I'm setting that off to the side. Here we have Inferno in his proper fire truck mode. And the fire truck mode looks really, really good. I like the red coloring for the figure. This is a reuse of the Earthrise grapple mold, and they took that figure and improved off of it. And I think it's turned out really, really nice. They did a good job making a, a G1 Inferno, and I think it looks really, really good. Um, you know, pretty basic fire truck mode, not a whole lot too. You got all the sculpted in details there. You can see the red paint for the wheels back here. Um, one thing I do, one oddity I do have with this figure is that if you look here, the wheel spins, but the hubcap doesn't. So like the wheel will spin just fine, but the hubcap doesn't, and it doesn't make any sense. Plus the hubcap is pinned into place. And I mean, the figure rolls just fine. I just don't understand the choice of making this entire section, making the wheel spin on its own, or the tire spin on its own, separate from the rest of the wheel. I don't know. Um, but anyway, you know, the paint's pretty nice. You got some silver there on the front. You got some silver for the headlights, a red Autobot insignia right there, and some blue translucent plastic. Some red and silver up here, paint-wise. Pretty nice 
in the paint department. And the truck mode's pretty articulated too. I mean, you've got full movement here in the ladder assembly pretty much. You get full 360 rotation here. You got a ratchet joint going forwards and backwards and then the ladder can collapse and lock into place so you can have it stored, if you will, and then it can extend. And then this little piece here is obviously on a peg so you can have him riding around putting out fires. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. So there you have that. A little bit of a good amount of posability for this figure actually. And now for some size comparisons. Here we have Kingdom Deluxe Class Cheetor, which if this is to scale, that is a big cheetah. Just be honest. Let's bring in my favorite of the Maximals and of the whole Beast Wars series, Kingdom Voyager Class Dinobot. We can see it's a thing. They sit beside each other, but you know, scale, size, you can see how the figure scales. And for another vehicle size comparison, here is a Skikorsky MH53 um, Pave Low, aka Studio Series Grindor. So there you can see how these two scale. Um, here. Uh, we'll do it like this. There we go. So there's your size comparison there. There you go. Size comparisons are done and out of the way now. Now for Inferno's transformation. Inferno's transformation isn't actually really that complex. I really enjoy the transformation of this figure. Now you do not have to remove any of the accessories unless you have the gun stored on the side. And even then, you don't really, I don't think, have to remove that. It just might get in the way. Um, I haven't tried it. But uh, the only accessory you might want to remove, and that's for robot mode aesthetics, is uh, the little nozzle here on the top of the ladder. So set that off to the side. But everything else can stay for the transformation. Now, what you're going to want to do now is take the ladder and collapse it like so. And then take this piece here, fold it up, take the uh, arms here of the truck, and untab that and pull it up. Now I will say there is paint on the thighs and the paint has chipped from where the arms peg in. Uh, not a deal breaker or anything, but some I thought I'd point out. Then from there, come here to the arms, fold them around, fold out the hands like so. Fold these out like that. There we have the arms ready to rock and roll. Now we're going to come back here, unpeg the legs from this back assembly here. Now one thing uh, that they fixed or that they improved on this figure over the Earthrise grapple figures that these pegs here at the back were too long on the grapple figure and would break off in the feet. And I had that happen on my copy unfortunately. So this figure I can already tell you now, I'll let you, I'll give my final analysis at the end of the video, but this figure is much, much better. Um, anyway, we're going to take this whole assembly here and accordion it up like so. And then we're going to take the robot mode head, fold it around. We can take these panels here and fold them out like so. And then we're going to pull all this up. And then there are two pegs right there. And right there and that will just lock the head assembly into place like so and then we can take this whole back assembly here the ladder and everything uh, go ahead and fold it back and then we just take the feet for robot mode and fold them out and there you have kingdom inferno in robot mode now what you're supposed to do is take the little nozzle piece i was talking about earlier and there's a peg right here that this will tab into and there we have kingdom inferno fully transformed and the robot mode for inferno here looks really really good i didn't expect to like this figure as much as i do but the aesthetics work really well i'm um, giving you a 360 spin around of the figure here we can see it's again it's a very simplistic design but it's it's really good looking i mean it tidies up pretty well very good looking figure i mean very, very nice. Now, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the details. Taking a look at the details here, starting here at the feet and whatnot, you can see there's some details molded in and whatnot. Got these pieces here in truck mode. I like how the wheels end up at more the ankle area uh, from the transformation. That's really simplistic, but very effective engineering there. You got the shins molded very nicely. The thighs have been painted red. Um, which one thing I will admit that they've done... 
Um, pretty good with the paint on the thighs is that I know on the Earthrise Grapple figure the paint on the thighs, especially towards the insides here, could be a little bit skimpy, um, but I think they did a really good job here on the thighs here. You know, you got the black torso piece there, some more mechanical detailing. Arms very simplistic, but you got some details there for the hands, shoulders, and the shoulder pylons here have been painted a nice silver. You got that red Autobot insignia. And then the face sculpt for this guy looks awesome. I really, really like the head sculpt for this guy. The black, the silver, the blue, the yellow all work really, really, really well. Um, and very, very nice head sculpt. So overall, I mean, Inferno is a fantastic looking figure. Now, as I mentioned, you can store the gun within a robot mode, and to do that, there is a peg, peg hole right here, and then the peg on the side of the gun will tab in right there, or you can have him, obviously, holding his gun like that. And then with the hands, you can actually attach that nozzle piece I was talking about earlier. So what you're going to want to do is take the hand and pretty much fold it in like you're going to transform it back into truck mode. Then we can take this piece back here and... It's got a little 5mm peg right on the top, and then you just peg it into his hand, and you can have him with a little fire nozzle putting out fires, and, you know, that's a really, really cool feature, actually. I, I think it's pretty cool. It's probably not how I'm going to display the figure, but, I mean, it's, it's a cool option. It's definitely a really, really cool option uh, to have for this figure. Whoops. But go ahead, take this, put it on his back again and just removing his weapon again pretty cool now for inferno's articulation articulation is really solid uh head is unfortunately only on a swivel and it can only look left to right it could probably move a full 360 but i don't want to risk paint chipping the head um shoulders can move uh, if you make sure to move them out of these little pieces right here and these shoulder pylons can catch and push these back so just be cautious of that uh, you do have kind of a backwards butterfly joint due to the transformation outward movement bicep swivel um a little over 90 degree elbow bend no wrist swivel but you do have the articulation from the transformation waist rotation full 360 uh, you got forward movement at the legs, backwards movement, outwards movement, full 360 thigh swivel, 90 degree knee bend, and then ankle tilt. And then due to the transformation, you can kind of get a forward tilt and then, you know, you can do whatever you want with that. But, uh, you know, overall, Inferno is really well articulated because due to the simplicity of the design, it, he can use a lot more range of motion. Now for size comparisons, here's the Transformers Kingdom Deluxe Class Cheetor, so we can see how he scales next to a Deluxe Class figure. Here he is next to Voyager Class Dinobot. So we can see he's a little bit shorter than Dinobot. And here he is next to Leader Class Studio Series Grindor. So... There you see how he scales there. So yeah, those are the size comparisons. So overall, what are my official thoughts and opinions about Kingdom Inferno? Overall, he's a really good figure. He is all definitely a lot better than the Earthrise Grapple figure. Um, this figure basically takes that design and improves off of it, and I find that this is a lot more of an enjoyable figure than the Earthrise Grapple figure, at least in my opinion, because my... Earthrise Grapple figure has a few QC issues. On one of these shoulder pylons, these little shoulder pylons, I'm not even kidding, there was glue residue that looked like snot. I wish I was exaggerating. It looked disgusting. And then the peg issue that I mentioned earlier, they fixed on the Inferno figure where the peg would break off on the Earthrise Grapple figure during the transformation. That will not happen on this figure due to the fact they shortened the pegs down for the transformation, so I do appreciate that. So they really took a pretty good mold that had a few issues and made it better, and I definitely do like this figure. I wasn't expecting to like this figure as much as I do, 
but it's a really cool design and I really like the overall aesthetic of the figure. It works really well and the transformation is really fun and simplistic as well and the articulation is really good and he comes with a fair amount of accessories. But I mean, overall, he's a really good figure. But guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to leave a like, comment what you think of Inferno down in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me, Chamber Productions, signing off.